Soft switching is used in high frequency power converters. It decreases switching loss, transformer leakage inductance loss, diode recovery loss, and noise radiated from the converter. This is achieved with the help of snubber circuits or zero voltage switching and zero current switching through resonant converters. This technique increases the efficiency of the power electronic converter so that we can use those in high power applications. We'll see what is the difference between hard switching and soft switching in this video. So let's start. Initially, we need to see how a conventional converter switching of MOSFETs or IGBTs works and what's bad about it. Let's take an example of a switching circuit where there is an inductor as a load. If you already know about the inductor switching from the earlier video, you can skip to this timestamp. But for clear understanding, I suggest you to watch this part again. As we already know, just like Sheldon, the inductor doesn't like change in current. Let's see the waveform of gate voltage, drain current and drain to source voltage across the MOSFET when it switches. When we provide the gate voltage to the MOSFET and as soon as it reaches the threshold voltage, the drain current starts increasing and it goes up to the load current plus reverse recovery current of the diode where the maximum drain current is reached. The drain to source voltage of the MOSFET stays constant at this time. After that, the VDS decreases drastically and the drain current comes back to the normal load current in a short period of time. But due to this, the dV by dt rate in the MOSFET increases. The VDS goes nearly to zero and MOSFET is turned on. Next, during the turnout process of this MOSFET, we remove VGS and it decreases across the MOSFET. The VDS of the MOSFET starts increasing and it shoots up till it reaches to the maximum value. The drain current starts decreasing and goes to zero. And that's how a MOSFET turns on or turns off. If you look closely, the drain current flows through the MOSFET for some time during turn on even though the VDS is not fully zero. Also, the VDS across the MOSFET during turn off increases even though the drain current is not zero during the turn off process. This occurs during switching due to the parasitic elements such as parasitic capacitance at the gate, drain and source present inside the MOSFET. This type of switching is called as hard switching. When we multiply the VDS and drain current during the switching process of the MOSFET, we get significant power dissipation and this power is nothing but the power loss across the MOSFET, which we call switching power loss. This switching loss increases with the frequency because it occurs very frequently at a higher frequency, which limits the working of the converter. That's why to avoid such issues, we need a lifesaver technique that is soft switching. Well, we want to reduce this switching loss. To do so, we should minimize the power generation across the MOSFET during switching. Let's say this drain current and drain to source voltage of this MOSFET. If we somehow shift this voltage so that it doesn't overlap with the current or there would be minimum overlap, this way there will be very negligible power dissipation. This technique is called zero voltage switching. In this, the switching happens when the drain to source voltage of the MOSFET crosses zero during the turn on process and after that, the drain current starts increasing. And while turning off, we slow down the rise of VDS so that there will be minimal overlap with the drain current. This would be the pseudo state for zero voltage switching. Or in the other case, while turning on of the MOSFET, we slow down the rate of change of drain current in such a way that there is minimum overlap over the VDS. And while turning off, we shift the drain current so that it doesn't overlap to drain to source voltage. Again, because of this, there will be very less power dissipation. This switching technique is called as zero current switching, where the drain current reaches to zero 
and after that the drain to source voltage increases. This technique of zero voltage switching or zero current switching is called the soft switching of a switching element. This soft switching is achieved by multiple techniques like adding snubber circuits which are categorized as passive snubbers and active snubbers. The passive snubber circuits consist of capacitors and resistors and in some cases diodes are also used. These are connected to the switching element. However, this technique of soft switching is inefficient and control over soft switching is very limited. We'll see about the snubber circuits in future videos. The other method for soft switching is by using an active snubber circuit which is achieved by resonance circuits through partial resonance. Soft switching through the resonance converter helps to reduce di by dt and dv by dt ramps which is effective in reducing the switching harmonic components and transient noise. As we saw in the last video, resonance circuits are used in various switch mode power supplies having a high frequency transformer such as DC to DC converters. For SMPS, it is important to reduce power loss to increase the efficiency. In addition to the turn off loss of switching devices, soft switching helps to reduce the transformer leakage inductance loss and diode recovery loss. Since high frequency transformers have leakage inductance, they cause reduction in the efficiency of switch mode power supplies when the energy stored in the leakage inductance is dissipated by the switching transistor. Soft switching also helps to reduce the losses caused by the leakage and excitation inductances of a high frequency transformer. Also this type of soft switching decreases the component count and cost because the leakage inductance of high frequency transformer can be used as an inductor for resonance. It is very necessary to consider both advantages and disadvantages of soft switching to determine whether it is the appropriate technique for our application. While soft switching has the advantages of reduced switching losses and high frequency noise, it has disadvantages of addition of resonant circuit and a very complicated control mechanism. I hope you have understood about the difference between hard switching and soft switching and the advantages of the soft switching. We'll see about the zero voltage switching and zero current switching in the resonant converter in coming videos. Till then, stay tuned. I have added all the references related to these circuits in the description. If you have any query, you can ask me in the comment section or email me. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And finally, Thank you so much for watching this video.